to move our discussions onto platforms like that, that can be manipulated, uh, that can that anyone doesn't have to be a foreign intelligence service. It could be anybody who wants to influence anything in this country or anywhere in the world. They can, you know, for very little money, they can hire someone to create thousands, millions of bots. Uh, and so we're living in this sort of funhouse world where everything is weird mirrors, and it's very hard to figure out what the hell is going on. Have you ever sat down and tried to figure out a solution to this other than trying to encourage people not to use it? Jamie, did something happen to the volume just drop lower? Okay, um, so w what was I just saying? We are talking about solutions yes. other than asking kids to not use it, which mm -hmm. is very hard to do. Yeah, that's right. So um, when we're talking about the democracy problems and the you know manipulation of politics or anything else, those are really, really hard. I have a few ideas of what would help, and we're not going to do them because you know all of them are like the left likes and the right doesn't, or vice versa. Like what are those ideas, though? What's... Oh, it's things like you know, like identity authentication. If if large platforms had something like know your customer laws, that is, you know, if you want to open an account on Facebook or or on on X, yeah. you have to at least prove that you're a person. And I think you should be able to have to prove that you're a, a person in a particular country. I think you should over a certain age. You prove those to the to the platform, not directly. You go through a third party. So even if it's hacked, they wouldn't know anything about about you. Just you establish that you're a real person, and then you're cleared. Go ahead, you open your account. You can post without. You don't have to use your real name. If we did that, that would eliminate most of the bots. That would make it much harder to influence. That would make us have much better platforms for democracy. Is that possible to do internationally? Well, the platforms can certainly require whatever they want for membership. Right now, they are legally required to ask you if you're over 13. Uh, if you're 13 or over, they ask it, and then they accept whatever you say, and that's it. You're in. Um, so those those rules could be changed, and they could be required to to do more. And you know, they're based in uh, you know in the United most in the United States, but their users are all around the world. So yeah, that could be done. So one of the things that people are nervous about when it comes to authentic uh, authentication authentication mm -hmm. is that if you could do that, then you could target individuals and they wouldn't be allowed to be anonymous. So you no, would eliminate no, no. the that's, possibility of whistleblowers. No, no, no. That's no. The point is that uh, the point is that you just have to establish that you are a person. It doesn't mean that you have to post under your real name, right? Uh, and you know, in, even if you want ultra high security, you could just have you know dissidents in repressive countries. They could just communicate by secure channels with a journalist who posts for them. So I understand the concern, uh, and there are values to having anonymity. But I think what we're seeing now is that the craziness, the way it's affecting, it's you know, as it's it's making it harder for democracies to be good, vibrant democracies, and it's making it easier for authoritarian countries like China to be powerful and effective authoritarian countries. So I think we have to start weighing the, the pluses and minuses, the costs and benefits here. Right, but how would you ramp that up? Like, how would you implement that internationally? Like, say, if mm -hmm. you're you yeah. know, talking about people in Poland, yeah. Yeah, just pick right. a country. Yeah. Um, well, the the platforms can do whatever they want, but then, yes, how would, if, if a company starts in Poland, uh, then the U.S. Congress would have no influence on that. Right, um, like China could pretend yeah. that, and they could falsify the data that shows that these are individuals. Oh, I if see. If they You're... wanted to empower uh, a troll farm. Oh, I see. You're saying even if American companies did this, the Chinese right. could still get around it.